right, everybody, welcome in. It's Kim with Lolly Doodle Studios. I've had a few requests for um, roses similar to this, so I wanted to just take a minute today to show you how I'm doing that. I'm just using round brushes. This is, is about a size six, right? This one's a King's Art. So I've got two colors of paint. Um, I've got like this really pretty deco art which is called coral blush and then I have some deco art white there um, first I'll show you the simple stroke it's just a comma stroke in order to make this rose right so basically all I've done here is just uh, painted a little circle um, so you'll just paint a circle it doesn't have to be perfect but the size of the rose that you want to end up with um, so the stroke that we're going to work on to make the flower are these little comma type strokes. So basically to make a comma stroke, you'll take your round brush and just drop it on your paper or your canvas and press it down so that the bristles start to s separate out a bit. And then you're going to bring it down or around lifting the brush back up to a point. So you're making a comma, and then you'll want to practice making that comma go both ways, okay? Um, you can do some thin, you can always go back in and thicken it, but it's basically that curved sideways stroke like that, right? So I'll turn the paper a little bit you can see the comma strokes. We've done our circle in my darker color. Uh, and then I'm gonna just dip that brush right on into some white paint. I like to kind of double load my round brushes, which just means like maybe dip half of the tip into one color and then the tip and maybe half into the white. So then when I do that, then I can come over here and um, that might be a little too much paint. Uh, so I'll find kind of where the center of the flower is and I'll drop like a little line or a little dot in the center. I like to do about three of those, okay? Uh, and then I'll just keep picking up a little bit more of the lighter shade, which I'm using white. And then I'm gonna keep my comma strokes thin, but I'm just gonna pick a spot somewhere around that three centers the dot and I'm gonna push down on the brush lift back to the tip and pull it around you can always pull the paint through a little bit more I don't necessarily want to go all the way around in the same direction or you'll end up with um, something that looks kind of like a, almost like a swirl or a pinwheel so then I let, and you can move your paper if need be, but I like to go back maybe where the tail was of my last stroke, drop that brush and pull back the other way, pulling up to a point. Okay, and then I'm gonna come here. I'll do a third one. I'm gonna drop the brush, pull it back, and I got a little too much of the coral there, so I'll put some more white, press, pull back with my little tail. See how these two petals are going kind of in the same direction, and then my third is going a different direction. That's how I will break up that look of the pinwheel. So then I'll come here maybe, and I will start about there, drop the brush press pull back with my comma the little tail of the comma you can fill it in with some more white or your lighter color if need be and just keep going around adding those little comma strokes all the way around the flower and I am kind of overlapping my previous petals. So I'll start here next to this larger one. I'm going to overlap that just a bit. I'll lay the brush there, pull back over, start to lift it to the point, and pull. 
see how it keeps it from looking too much of like a pinwheel so I can start one here and as I get further out of the flower I can make my comma strokes a little bit bigger a little bit wider and I will just keep filling them in pull another one this way so I just keep picking up always tipping off with my lighter color which in here is white so I'll start one maybe here bring it you can give it a little wiggle pull it and then pull it back up to that tip and see how it just gives you a different shape for the petal now I'll turn my paper a bit and I will just pull one out really wide and give it a good wiggle can you see that a really good wiggle and I'll pull that over and around twisting and pulling back to the tip I can always come back in with some extra white paint you can do some smaller just little smaller and then very you don't even need to do a tail um, see that one's just kind of like the comma without much of a tail so then I can start one out here give it a good little wiggle pull that paintbrush twist it and pull it back to the tip come back in with some more of your white swing it around a bit Flowers are not perfect, and your painting does not have to be either. So I'm gonna start right on the tip of that tail, and I'm gonna pull a petal out and pull it around. So this one's not gonna be perfectly round, which is absolutely fine. So I'll grab some more white, uh, but I can just keep making the flower larger if it gets like too big on one side. So I'm going to start one here, pull around, bring back to the tip, more white. I'm going to pull one here, a small one, and maybe I'll give that a little wiggle. And we'll do one here. I'm going to pull it up a bit, give it a good wiggle, and bring it in and pull it up and end on that tip. So I've got a nice, pretty open rose using one brush, one stroke. I can finish that off. I can take a little tiny bit of a darker color. You can use black. I'm just going to use this bittersweet chocolate brown that I have. And you can come in there in the center and give it a couple of little dots to um, simulate the pollen. And there you have a nice, beautiful, big, open rose with using one brush. I hope you like this. If you do like this video, let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments. Be sure to subscribe and I will be back with another video to show you how to make a flower like this, the rose, with the flat brush instead. I will see you soon.